Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are checking out a plane. It's been out for a little over a month. It's from Init Builds and it is the Lockheed Martin Shooting Star T-33 training jet. Now this plane was in collaborations with uh, SimWorks Studios and with the Ace Mar Maker, the Ace Maker. Well, and it's a absolutely gorgeous plane very highly done it's in great detail you can see there's some rockets we can put on the side we also put some bombs as well but the, the, you can just see the level of detail you can zoom in and it's just highly highly detailed i mean i love it. you can get so close you have the pop rivets there that look amazing in the it's it's a very very detailed aircraft very well done you have a ladder, you have the cockpit open, you have a pilot in the seat. I mean, it's the, the plane comes with several liveries. You have the uh, pedo covers over the probes, uh, the fuel tanks. I, I love the fuel tanks on the side um, of the wings. The tip, oh, I believe they're fuel tips, fuel tip tanks. I don't know, but that's also where you uh, put fuel. Uh, it's a single engine jet. It has a, sing a single engine, like I said, just said. It is located, obviously, in the back, right here where it says, Beware of Blast. It is a single engine, Allison engine. It is, uh, model number is J33-Alpha-35. Uh, the plane is a two-seater, hence it is a trainer. Uh, maximum speed of this plane is 600 knots. It was one of the first planes of the jet age. Uh, the plane came out, I believe it was in the late 40s. I believe it was 40, 1948 is when this plane first arrived. Um, it's uh, maximum weight, takeoff weight is uh, 15,100 pounds. Empty weight is 8,300 pounds. Uh, let's see, and its maximum service ceiling is 48,000 feet. And it can uh, travel on its, on one tank. Uh, 1,275 nautical miles. So yeah, this thing is, um, it's a pretty, pretty well detailed. It was, uh, the audio of this aircraft also is of the real plane. So yeah, it's, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. It even handles like an old aging bike plane because it's sluggish and it, it doesn't handle like you would think like a jet would, like a fighter jet would. Uh, back in those days, it didn't have the agility or anything like that like you would have these days. Let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit, and we can show you around in the cockpit. All right, we have now jumped into the cockpit. Let me go ahead and activate my track IR. Oop, there we go. We got it. So, yeah, this the cockpit is very, very well done. Love it. Uh, there's a little, there's a few hidden things about the cockpit. You have a uh, EFB or, or cell phone, you would call it, right here. And you would see right here, you have none for your payload, none rockets or bombs. We're, we have rockets on, the bombs are right here. You hear a little slap, they're on there. There they are. Couple, I think those are probably going to be 100 pound pound bombs. I'm I'm guessing. All right, where you see those? I'm gonna put the rockets back on. You have flare dispensers, so you can actually display. Uh, you can shoot off flares, which the flare button is right here. Luggage luggage pod, you can see that right there. If I can click on it with my head moving. There's your luggage pod on the bottom of the aircraft in the back. We're going to take that off. Engine covers. Obviously, you know, that's it, obvious in what those are. And then you have your rain cover. Which, since we have the cockpit open, it's like not possible. But um, then you have your chocks, ladder, and pins. So we're going to take off the chocks, the ladder, and the pin. Nice thing about the whole the, this this phone here, it's not like a, a magically levitating phone. If you actually look, 
it actually has a mount that you put it puts to the window so it's like hey we're just gonna put this right up in here it's gonna be actually mounted and not levitating like some things you would see in other planes so we're gonna go ahead and, and then you go to home you have a map also of where you're at we're right now at nellis air force base seems to be my go-to place and then you have your options classic co cockpit or you can have your more modern day cockpit with your display and everything i kind of like the old retro look I, that's just me though so i usually keep it to this you can show your rear your rear pilot which we're going to do that there's your the guy behind you and yeah and then also on the home page you can see all your uh all the communications frequencies that are here local to you it's really really cool and the special location for this phone is right here this little bolt click it it goes away now for the your cockpit right here you can there's also this little bolt you can just click right there and there it is we're gonna go back to that all right we're gonna go through the startup procedure all right we're gonna kick on the battery let that warm up for a second now this thing does have the option these are right here where your smoke colors are you have a uh, orange i believe it's orange red white and blue not sure why the orange but i understand the red white and blue now i'll explain the fuel and how that works here in a little bit the fuel is kind of different uh than any other plane which your fuel gauge is located right here we're at 45 percent fuel all right, ignition. So, and also, we're going to go ahead and lower the canopy. We'll lower that after we start the engine. There we go. Engine is starting. Looking good on the power on the ignition. We're good to go. We're going to go ahead and shut the canopy. Canopy is closing. It is kind of weird. Come on. You can always bypass it since it uh, seems to be not working well. Or at least I thought you could bypass it. All right. Something's not right here. There we go. Click down. So when you click, when you're closing the canopy, it says close click down and then you can lock it all right so we're good on that close that cover you can also see you have your red lights you have a white light as well but we're gonna go back and then there's this one this one's your right red lights for your dials up front now if you want to do tests test your systems these are your red light tests. Make sure everything's working. Now, another thing is, is the fuel. We're going to go ahead and turn the light down on that. Now, here is your tips, your tip fuel, your wing fuel, and another fuel tank 
Now, as you can see here, we are at 40%. Your, all these fuel tanks right here do not go into one single fuselage, uh, the, into the fuselage fuel tank. So when this gets low, you actually have to flip these switches to be able to transfer fuel back into the fuselage so that you, um, you your tank fills back up for the engine. You cannot keep these things on at all times. You'll flare, uh, you'll flame out, I believe. Um, it, it just does not work that way. That's how it works also in real life, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I could also be off on my description a little bit. If anyone, if I am, correct me in the comment section below. But we're gonna go ahead and turn on the wing refuel uh, tank. So you can see it right there. You see the uh, tank is increased. We're over 50% now, 55. We're gonna leave it at 60 and we're gonna turn off that tank. Right there we are. It's pretty cool. I kind of like that. It, it really does bring you bring the sense of how the plane feels of the real life plane. I'm gonna turn my head tracker off because I am getting dizzy and I'm sure you guys are too. But yeah, that's how that works in case uh, in the future you're wanting to know. We are good to take off. We have lined up for the runway or on the runway and we forgot to cage or uh, de uncage our uh, one of our displays here there we are that's done now the the process of taking off it's kind of different so you want to have flaps at 60 We're almost there right there we're i think we're, we're right there we're spot on all right flaps are at 60. now you want it it's tricky on the takeoff because you want to have to pull a wheelie i believe at 40 knots 40 knots you want to pull a wheelie and then you then when you lift off it's about 120 knots um i've never i haven't really done a great job of doing it but it, you'll get in there eventually but it's it's tricky, but I have right now my parking brakes on. Now you want to watch this dial right here. You want it to get up to 100% because you can, oh, you can overpower the engine, but on takeoff, you do not want to overpower the engines. You want to go to 100%. So we're going to do that. A little bit more. A little bit more. Right there, back her down a little bit, back her down a little bit. Oh, and I think we're, that's good. Releasing brakes. Really hard to maintain that small inputs it's really really crucial and we're off the ground 
it does not take a lot of movement to get this bird up flaps up yeah it does not take a lot like i'm barely moving my stick and this thing's all over super sensitive uh settings which is it's a, it's a challenging bird to say the least But as she is super fun to fly. Now, another thing is, so you know how you know F-16s, F-22s, um, I just, I just backed down on power a little bit. But no, in the F-16s, F-22s, F-35s, and um, planes like that, you can do the barrel rolls and have a lot, and basically recover really quick. This plane's a little bit different because of the fuel tip tanks. With fuel in there sloshing around, uh, you, when you do your barrel roll, you don't, you can't just snap back instant. It, you will have a little bit of carry over here. Like right there, you, I had to recorrect to come back. It, it's a little bit more finicky a little more technical because of how old the plane is and the not it's not as agile as the late our latest fighters but she is still fun so i back down we're down to now not just under 80 percent power or just above 80 percent She sounds amazing too. She sounds, she looks great. I have to say they did a great, and the builds did a really good job with this in conjunction with um, SimWorks Studios and Ace Maker. But yeah, you can't pull off extreme like maneuvers like you would in an F-35 or F-22. But let's go ahead and turn on some smoke. Everyone can see the smoke. So that one is the white. That's a fun plane. That's a fun plane to fly. I know there's a lot to this plane that I'm probably missing, but that really the what I've gone across or gone through is the basics. It's a really, really good plane, highly um, mobile. And it's not an expensive plane either. Uh, I mean, it's. 26 us dollars 26 dollars and 20 cents us dollars that's not bad that is not half bad uh and so i mean i personally think it'd be it's worth that price landing this plane is kind of trying try tricky because it doesn't have the suspension like you would on a fighter or a airline or anything like that on the later later planes this thing likes to bounce you really have to hit the runway just right oh we still got the smoke on oh yeah you have your uh, the other smoke we got what is that red blue and then orange yellow orange it looks about the same 
and then just click on it and turn them off flares so we're gonna arm the flares nope that's not what we, no no that is what we want uh that's the spencer flare dispenser is there and so in now there's your flares really cool love what they've done highly recommend it there is nellis you also have a nice little prop in here the uh this is a window uh a uh, a knife to be able to get yourself out of the cockpit in emergency situations now i'm not sure if this one actually i don't know if this is meant to cut the ropes or if it's meant to bust out the window or the canopy not sure which but I'm, I'm leaning more towards the uh the cut the uh the uh straps off the harness because that doesn't look like it would be even given you have to give a lot of force for it to do something to the canopy not like one of those little devices where you can just tap the windshield or a window in the car it just shatters Yeah, this thing, very, very small input, all you need. But I really hope everyone enjoyed the video, the review on this. I highly recommend it. It is a very detailed plane, very much worth putting in your hangar. So uh, I hope you guys will come back for the next review hopefully soon i'll have one i know with uh, microsoft flight simulator 2024 on the horizon right now plane releases are kind of on the uh down low until after the new one launches so yeah and i'm looking forward to jumping in 2024 with everyone as well have a great one later